good morning and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Natasha Sweet in for Christy Matino. President Biden is set to deliver a speech on anti-Semitism at the Capitol this morning. We must say clearly and forcefully that anti-Semitism and all forms of hate and violence have no place in America. Biden's speech will be at the Holocaust Memorial Museum's annual Day of Remembrance ceremony. House Speaker Mike Johnson and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries will also be in attendance. This as campus protests continue. Biden has received criticism from both sides on his stance regarding Israel and Gaza. Some lawmakers have come out to say the president is subsidizing terrorism. Congress will not tolerate your dereliction of duty to your Jewish students. American universities are officially put on notice that we have come to take our universities back. On Capitol Hill, there are various hearings in the works regarding campus anti-Semitism. And this all comes as university leaders and faculty remain split on pro-Palestinian protests. Settler colonialism wants to commit genocide. And here, a Jewish teacher was blocked from entering what was turned into an encampment on campus. So I'm going to let you speak to our PO for a minute while I go talk to folks and we can see what okay. we're going to do, okay? So in the meantime, ask, ask, I'm gonna, ask the constable up here to say that I should be able I'm to get gonna, in. I'm going to have a conversation. Okay. Biden says he has no plans to visit campus protests supporting Gaza, despite an outcry from several Democratic lawmakers. Our Christian Day Talk reports. President Joe Biden will not visit any of the pro-Gaza University campus protests, despite calls from Democratic lawmakers for him to do just that. Congressman Ro Khanna said that the president um, should and will be out visiting these campus among the, the protests, amid the protests. Is there any plan for him to get out there and talk to students no. right now? Okay. And then uh, separately, GW's president has called for Metro Police in D.C. to intervene uh, to dismantle what they've deemed an illegal encampment. And D.C. police have so far refused to um, respond to that call. It's happening in the president's backyard. Uh, is there any reaction from the White House on what should happen? So um, that is something that I'm going to leave uh, to the local law enforcement and the universities. That's for them to figure out, for them to work it through. They know what is happening on the ground, and we've always been very clear about that. Just last week, President Joe Biden said he applauded the efforts of those peacefully protesting while still calling out escalating violence on campuses. The president, however, said that these protests are not changing his mind in any way, shape, or form regarding U.S., Israel, and Gaza policy. For The Washington Examiner, I'm Christian Daytalk. Thanks for joining us on this WEX Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and social media so you stay in the know in all that's trending in politics. Have a great day.